Hey, hey guys, Dion here, and I'm going to paint this dress. I've been working on this for a few days, and Bloom TV and What Women Create were here for a couple of days. So I had the opportunity of laying down the base layers, even got to get started on some of the greenery. But tonight we're going to do a few flowers. So I have a challenge for you. Matt's here. I am. And we're going to explain to you what the challenge is and how you can win a big prize. So stay tuned, hang, hang tight for a little bit. Um, I've actually started one of the flowers and let me get up and actually kind of lean it more towards the camera because You're like, I'm falling in love. I'm frozen. Yep. They can't see anything really. Really? Yep. What it a is, shame. It is frozen. Um, what a shame. Up? Yeah, it's a shame because I just see your pretty face with the pretty dress behind it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not saying that I'm frozen on the screen. Give me just one second. Um, ah, uh, ah, uh, hey, Bob. Hey, Lisa Dixon. Hey, Kim, let me figure this out, you all. We're going to paint a flower. We've got a big challenge for you all, and you're all invited to participate. Um, so let me figure this out. Just one second. It's the only way that I can do Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um, so let's see if this works. I'm here. You're here. Maureen is here for, from Fort Myers, Florida. Dear, we're so glad you're here. Um, okay, this is really weird, but you're good now. I'm good? You're Great. Good. So what I was saying is I'm going to work on this gown. Um, Bloom TV was here filming on Thursday and Friday with What Women Create. They have a partnership, and I started painting on this. So that's why the yellow and the coral is already done. I even got to start on the vines and the greenery. I have a challenge for you all, so I'm going to explain to you what it is and how you can win a big prize. Okay, we're going to do something fun together. Um, meanwhile, right before we came on, I started on the flowers, and I have to tell you, you guys, this is so pretty. I mean, is it okay to say something's pretty? Hey, I'm gonna try something. You're just, gonna try something? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna so. I'm just gonna play around, you guys. Just you know, tank tight. Just Dion's crawling. I'm walking behind her. Sorry. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on, but um I have been working on this dress. Sorry, one more time, sorry. And um, just playing with lighting, just right. seeing what's going on. All right. So, my goal is to add more of the pink and the red flowers around here. So, I am using my DIY paint. You guys, this is my sixth wedding dress uh, to work on, or just dress in general. Oh, if you I have really made the color different. If you have any question, at all let me know but i've got a challenge for you all and i need you to save <clears throat> hashtag diy paint challenge if you want to participate because i want to see that showing up on social media okay so what do you got to say what do you got to okay, think hashtag you, yeah can you type it use in the comments i i know who. just type in the comments honey okay i'm gonna have to try write a comment all right so you put hashtag. Okay, hold on. Hashtag's the pound sign, right? Yeah, it's the pound sign. Okay, hashtag. DIY. 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 Paint. And a hashtag is all one thing, honey. No spaces. Okay. This is the guy who's never written a hashtag. Okay. And is it all caps? It can be if you want it to be. DIY paint, paint challenge. All right, let's give away a big prize, Matthew. So, challenge, C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -L -L -E -E. Got it. Okay, so you put that in. You put so... that on a project. Just a minute, let me explain the rules, Matt. How do I, how do I post it? You push enter. Oh, enter. Ha, ah, I did it. Look at me. 
Look uh, at you. Oh, but you forgot that. Oh, no, you, you got it. You got it. There's a D it. that followed around. To the Look at all these people. They're like, hey. Thank you, Cheryl. Words. Thank you, Rob. They're ahead of you. They're ahead of you. Okay, guys. So I want more of this flower, but we're going to do a smaller one over here. We're going to do a really small one over here. Then we're going to pull another one over here. Um, I have had so much fun. I started this one when Bloom TV was here. And I want to keep working on it. So I have my DIY paint. That's what this is. And I'm going to challenge you because winter is coming, but fall is here. And I want to challenge you to do your own wearable art. Wearable art? Well, that yes. would be... I prefer you to do jeans. We're going to do a jean challenge. Jeans, okay. Jeans. And when you paint on your jeans, O-M-G... You're going to use that hashtag. I'm going to share you in my stories on Instagram and Facebook. And then we're going to choose our favorite projects. And the winner is going to receive a big prize. Okay? A big prize. A big prize. But you have to use DIY paint and you have to use the hashtag. That way I can organize them. Like, like right now, if you go to do the Dion, which was a hashtag several years ago, there's like five or 6,000 of them, right? And so Is I, there? yeah, every week oh. I would go and I would pick a favorite Got it. Um, or just pick one that I thought was pretty cool. And then I would share it on my social media pages. So this time we're gonna celebrate the fact that fall is here and we're gonna focus on wearable art. Okay, so we're gonna really focus on the jean side, but you can do anything you want. Is that You correct? can totally do anything okay. you want. I just kind of wanted to focus on doing like a jean jean challenge so pick up old pair of jeans maybe some that you don't wear but maybe you want to give new life to yeah so it doesn't have to be jeans no but it's a we're just art but i i you kind of focus on the jeans i kind well because i'm painting and i just not everybody has a wedding dress laying around right so i, I want to give them the opportunity oh my goodness To, um, I thought since fall is here, more people have jeans than they do, you know, dresses to paint, right? So I think it would be a really fun challenge. Yeah, then you can even, yeah, I mean, and it's whatever you want, as long as you use DIY paint. It well, be, it's called the DIY you, paint challenge. No, that's what I'm yeah. saying, as long as it's DIY paint, but it could be flowers, it could be boats, it could be horses. Oh, absolutely. It doesn't have to be a flower challenge. I mean, it could be baseball. But let's do it, and let's. I want to give away a big prize, um, probably a painting or something, and I want to see what the designs you can come up with on your jeans, really. Jean jacket says Rashonda Light would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? A jean jacket would work. Yeah. Really, anything. I mean, just yeah. we're just you're so just gonna kind of DIY focus paint. Um, kind of feels like a dye. It's kind of dyeing the fabric because of it's so porous. And so I'm just having a lot of fun with this dress. And I wanted to see what designs you guys could come up with as well. Does that sound like a fun challenge? Or are you like, what's the deadline? Rob, that's such a good question. How Let's about... do this for one month. Well, I feel hopefully. like it may take everybody a while, a while to kind of decide. So let's do this until December 1st. Wait, what's today? Today is the 23rd, 4th. You just totally made that day up. Well, hello there, young lady. Can I can I get you to scoot over, please? Over here. Come on. Matthew. How'd she, why is she in here? I think she was just missing us. <laughs> I don't know why she's in here. Come right here. Come on. Look. Actually, oh, and she fell on me. I think... Let's give it four weeks. Let's go ahead and go with the whole month because I feel like that's how long we should give everybody time because we can't make it short. We need to give people time to do their jeans or jean jacket. Um, I just would, I think it's kind of fun. You can add all types of things. Nope. <laughs> See, sorry guys. He wants to be in here. There's really not room though. This dress takes up a lot of, a lot of room. Okay. So let's do one month. Let's pick a day. What's today? Today's October 9th. So we're going to pick December 9th, Matthew. 
December 9th is the deadline. All right. Okay. November 9th. Matthew. Yes. November 9th. November 9th. November 9th. November or December? November. We're doing November 9th, not December 9th? No. Okay. So the deadline to turn in pictures plus the hashtag is November the 9th. You don't have to turn it in. You just have to complete your project, meaning I'm going to decide on December. Oh, they, on don't November ship, 9th. they don't ship it to us? The, their jeans? No, they got to keep them and wear them. Oh. It's about seeing what they can do with the paint. Oh, so we don't, we won't get like a bunch of packages. No, we are not getting a bunch of packages. I was thinking Christmas is coming up. Maybe we can. You wanted them, them to ship us. And then so we'll, we give our, we'll have them as Christmas out. presents. Wow. To, to, to wow. Help. That was a subtle, uh -huh. subtle trick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, the, they tag us on Instagram and, and Facebook. And so I can share. Oh my goodness. This is, <laughs> I love this. Do you love it? I love this. You're back like, to spotty again. You're kind of, kind of. Tears are about to fall out of my eyeballs. I don't know why the video is doing what it's doing, but. All right. Please let me just explain this. For those just popping on, I'm starting a hashtag. And the reason I'm doing a hashtag is so I can find your challenge pieces. So if you are went to practice with your DIY paint and do, <laughs> oh my God. Every just, she just, no, nope, come on. Come oh on. my gosh, she's gonna run into everything. Come on. Big old dog. Come on. Come on. I wanna see what your designs can be. You'll tag me and I will share your work on Instagram in my stories. Okay, that's what we're doing here. And then on November 9th, I'll narrow it down to the winners and you, or you guys will draw the finalists. And I just want to see what people who can do. Okay, I'm so excited. So what have you been up to lately? Past couple days, been doing anything fun? Okay, let me look in the thing at this. So how do you set it on fabric when you're done? You can use high heat Marlene with the clay based. High heat, that's what, okay, wait, I gotta finish this. Um, I also, like my cotton dresses that I did, I threw them in the dryer on high heat for like an hour. Um, but I will be honest with you, I have not washed it, so I can see where you would ask that question, but I don't have a real concrete answer because I haven't washed any of the items that I've painted, especially these dresses. And are you you're gonna post it on Facebook, right? They're supposed to tag me, that's why they use the Just hashtag. Tag. You can tag on YouTube? You use the hashtag. So you use that on YouTube or Facebook or whatever? No, it needs to be on Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You post your project on right. Instagram, Instagram and use the hashtag because that's where hashtags are prevalent, honey. Okay. I, I don't know you what don't a hashtag is. don't use hashtags is. on YouTube. I can tell you I what mean, a hashtag can, is, but I don't know how a hashtag works. You can, but it... You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm like, trying to explain it to I you. know what it is, but... How it works is just kind of, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Sandy Anderson Hill, what kind of brush are you using? So this one is my Paint Pixie. This is my Dusty. It's three inches. The other one is the Little D and it's one and a half. And both of these brushes are the ones that I retail on my website. So I'm going to use some highlighters. I'm going to take my mint chip and just kind of create more outline. Oh, my service is bad. I turned it off Wi-Fi. Mm, no, it's not it's just, it's just kind of glitching now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Happy? Oh, I love this. 
So I know you asked me what I've been up to, but you already know. <laughs> this was a busy week, but it was a really exciting week. We got to film and do something we've never done. And anytime I get to do something new, I'm always so inspired. I felt very grateful to be able to tell a part of my story. I'm usually the one doing all of the interviewing. I ask all the questions. So when I got asked to tell my story, I got a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not used to being interviewed, but I enjoyed it. I learned so much. We learned a lot about lighting. I learned a lot about makeup. I learned a lot about um, setting and staging and photography, which is something I'm very always inspired by in general. And I teach it in my groups. Staging's everything. Photography is everything, but boy, we watched them work, didn't we, honey? Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Do you think you could try to switch back to Wi-Fi? Sure. Just try it and see. Sure. Allison Kerr says, just beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm obsessed with this. So I'm challenging you all to paint on your clothes, um, a denim jacket, denim jeans, and use the hashtag DIY paint challenge. And I want to give away a big prize. Gosh. Okay, so you want me to switch and turn just try it on? and see, yeah. I mean, it's okay. just. Okay. Hi, oh, everybody. Oh, I see you. Let me just kind of clear it up a little bit. So around, around December 1st, Andrea, I don't have a date released yet. Um, I'll know more soon, though. But I don't have a date released just yet. Um, but we'll post the links and do everything. Thank you, Tanette. Lisa Nixon says her hubby's watching tonight. Oh, Lee. Oh, Lee in a house. Lee's in a house tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's scoot around over here to this side. Let's scoot the camera over. Everybody's had a good weekend. Hey, I'm back to chop again. Tried to relax a little bit today. Did you hear me? I did hear you. I will try to turn on the Wi Fi. Hi, you guys. Look at you. Thank you. Thanks, Lee. All right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go away for a second and turn my Wi Fi back on. I never ever have any trouble on Instagram, so I may just have to try that. It looks like StreamYard's giving me giving me fit. So I, I apologize. Obviously I know you know it's out of my control. But if you don't hear what the challenge is, you won't be able to participate, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just real choppy now. You're just frozen on YouTube. It's really not a good night for for life, for some reason, I don't know what's going oh, on. You guys, I apologize. Just one second. I'm really sorry, guys. We're trying to make it work. Ha, ha, ha. 
Okay, you you looks pretty good right now. Did you Facebook. see Lee's comment? Lee, Matt, I'm putting in for a transfer to be Dion's assistant since you didn't come hang out in South Carolina. Lee, she would absolutely love that. And I wish I was there. I would like to have gone, but. That big hairy dog you that, just saw. That big hairy dog. See, they take their dog with them. Yes. Our, our dog, I don't know how big your dog is, but our dog's. A, they have a Yorkie. Oh. Our dog's about 75, 80 pounds. She's, she takes up a lot of space. But Lee, I know you would, and I bet you'd do a, a fantastic job helping her out. Much better, honey. I don't know what you did, but you did a good job. Now, is that purple? It's cherry picked, honey. Cherry we picked. don't have okay. a purple. I thought cherry picked was purple. Maybe not. Would you call cherry pink purple or no? Like a plum maybe? Well, Debbie says it's a dark red. Oh, so, okay. you know, I just go with that. All right, fair enough. Oh my gosh, I love this. Betty Price says beautiful. Thank you. We're gonna. We're, I'm excited to see what you guys do. I'm excited to see who will be able to participate with the challenge as well. I had the honor of putting the girls and the models in the dresses the other day, and having them filmed just kind of re, it re inspired me, you know, to to get another dress going and see what I could do with it. So fun. So, so seeing those girls in the dresses, how did that make you feel? It was really fun to be able to see them come to life. Yeah. And um, just just make me so, I mean, it's, it's interesting to be inspired. I don't want to say I'm inspired by my own work. That's not really what I mean. I just mean it made me want to get in there and paint some more. Like, I just, I have new ideas and um, it's kind of, it's just fun. And I don't, I don't know how all paint is. I just know how DIY paint is. So I don't know if my results would be the same. I don't know. Right. I mean, but seeing seeing it kind of being worn and and what do you think about it being worn? Did you did you have any concerns about anything or? Did... Well, they've all been on and they've all modeled them before. It's true, but they did quite a bit of them. I mean, they I thought it I thought oh. they looked great and held up great. Yeah, that was amazing. Tasha Watkins says that red sets it off. Loves it. Thank you, sister. Betty says the deep color is striking and stunning. Love it. Thank you. I think, you know, it, because it's wet, it's going to dry a little bit lighter, which is what we're familiar with when it comes to DIY. Um, but I thought it would be a really fun challenge to see what you guys do with the paint. So if I was to paint a pair of jeans, uh -huh. what do you think I would paint on them? Well, you could paint like a design. Knowing you, you would do probably like a graphic design. You could do just a pattern. You could do a an Aztec type, you know, you could do a pattern, babe. I could see you doing something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you true. could do a quote, like with a background. You could do almost like a graffiti. Um, do you think we could get Lee in this? Think he would, he would paint a pair of jeans, or I bet he's got a pair of old work. Maybe jeans. maybe old work jeans that he can you know work around the the garage in when he's at home. Mm -hmm. You have to ask him. He's on. That's true, Lee. Lee, are you up for the challenge? Lee. I've got a big prize to give away. I bet. I bet uh, Rob would do it. What do you think Rob would paint? I bet he's got his 1981 jean jacket. Ooh, nice. You think it has poison on the back of it? But, like, no, he was Motley too young. Crew? He was too young in 1981. He was? Yeah. Should I have a jean jacket? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Did jean jackets come back in the 90s? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. Jean jackets never really go out of style. But look at this. I just love it. It might be too much. Do you think it's too much? Uh, Betty says steampunk with tools and gears. Hashtag more math. That's a great idea, Betty. Okay, one more flower before we go tonight. I want to make sure everybody's clear on what the challenge is. You use the hashtag on Instagram and I will share it to my Instagram story, my Facebook story. 
and then we'll give you one month. We'll choose um, our finalists and then we'll do a vote and pick our favorite project using the DIY paint on fabric. I am thinking jeans because it's fall and it just feels right. <coughs> what about sweatpants? Wow. Yeah, I was just thinking, you know. I don't know, babe. I, I don't know. You could do any type of fabric. Okay. But I want to see what projects you guys come up with. Rob doesn't keep old stuff. He doesn't keep old stuff. That's what he said. And which I get. Well, you could buy one at a thrift store, buddy. You could, like, cut the sleeves off and make it a vest. Ooh. Like, rip it and have, like, the, the little. He's not a rocker, though, remember? I know. Yeah, but country guys do that, too. They shouldn't. But they do. But they shouldn't. Like, I think Toby Keith does it. Or he used to. I don't know if he does anymore. Didn't, uh, who's that one guy, that country singer that she really likes? And Tim McGraw. Oh, Tim McGraw. He wears, like, tank tops and stuff. Well, he's cutie cute. Oh, oh, I see. So you can wear a tank top only if you're cute? Well, I mean, you should maybe have a certain physique, possibly. I don't know. So is that why you don't want me to wear a tank top? What? what do you mean? <laughs> don't don't try to make me look like a bad guy. Stinker. This is just fun. It's very pretty. Did you show them that you, you have a mannequin? I haven't showed them, but I think okay. they understand. Well you just can't see it in the yeah. Um, video. Yeah, I got a mannequin to hang the dress to put the dresses on. It's working out pretty well. Uh, Robin says, I love your hair. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I curled it. We actually, Matt's mom wanted some family pictures this afternoon um, with his siblings and grandkids and everything. So we got together and we did family photos and I took them, I took them of everybody and it was nice. Um, Lisa Dixon says, I bet Tim McGraw can wear whatever he wants. Oh, Lisa. She's, I got another Tim McGraw fan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might paint a tank top and then wear it. I might do it on the show. No. We mean no. You won't. I might. I might go buy a white one. Mm hmm. White tank top and paint some pretty. I have to be careful not to make these pointed. I have a Cheers. tendency to make my flowers pointed because I love that look, but I want this to look different, almost more like. A tulip or a rose or something. Okay, so Panda, to paint on clothing, jeans, jackets, dresses, whatever, and hashtag DIY paint challenge. Is Boom! Dropping it. Yes, and it needs girl. to be posted on Instagram by November 9th. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Did I say that all properly? You got it right, buddy. Thanks for listening to me correctly. We went over it twice before we went live, so it's good to know that Matt was listening. Uh, hello, Janet Cray. Hi, Girl at Cycle Studio says, oh, Dion, this is just stunning. Hi, sister. How are you? I am having the best time. So I created a new challenge um, using a hashtag, and I cannot wait to see who participates in it. And I also want to give away a big prize. What about a ball cap? I think like a ball cap. Well, I feel like I feel like it should be a little bit bigger than that because you can only like with a ball cap you can only paint so much. This is true. You know, this like, is true. We yeah. need bigger surface area. I want you to see what you can do with it. Like, you know what's going to be you know what's going to be fun and interesting to see what people paint. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm encouraging jeans, honey, in celebration of fall. But in, and it could be you paint anything. You can paint like your school's mascot, right? Okay. Or maybe sure. Yeah. I mean, technically. Yeah. Or maybe like the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. Oh, you mean on the on the fabric? Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness. Anybody else having as much fun as me? Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> you in the zone over there? You in the zone? This is just... Having fun over there? Yeah. Are you going to be doing anything on the train on this one? I haven't decided. It's it's. Good. I'm afraid it would be too much. This okay. is already a lot. Yeah. But I'm thinking, don't you guys think I should take pictures and make fabric out of this? Then I can 
sell the fabric or I could make curtains. Good idea, Betty. Bedding. I could make bedding. Um, Betty says Christmas images. Great idea. Or fall pumpkins. You use some pumpkins. Absolutely. You do like a pumpkin on each each booty cheek. Okay, that sounds terrible. Booty cheek. A pumpkin on each pocket cheek. Yeah. I don't want pumpkins on my booty. <laughs> make fabric from that. Yes, Tonda says yes. That's a good idea. That's like that sounds fun. What? Okay, so yes, Carolyn Marsh. Any certain? There's really no theme. You can paint whatever you. You can choose. paint whatever. I want to. Yeah. That's the whole thing. I want to see how original you can be on your fabric. I was saying a jean jacket just be, or a jeans in celebration of what season it is. It can be anything. Though. But it can be anything. I mean, I, I don't suppose everybody wants to do a dress. That's why. Because it's like a big commitment, right? Um, but something less intimidating, maybe, I get. And so you use that hashtag, and I'm going to be checking it every few days, and then I'm just going to share it on my stories. Share it on my stories. And then we're going to narrow it down. You guys are going to vote, and I'm going to give away a big prize. So Pam Dudley says she has a pair of bib overalls she wants to paint. Yes. Good idea. Ton is going to go thrifting tomorrow. Going to get, find a jean jacket. That's my girl. That's my girl. Lisa Dixon says, um, pumpkin bottom jeans. With the pearls. <laughs> the whole club looking at her. <laughs> She hit the flow. Next thing you know. Yep. Gotta get low, 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 low. Isn't that how it goes? Yeah. I think so. It's a good song. Oh my goodness. Less is more, but you know what? The more I paint, the more I love this. So it's it's gonna be a lot. Uh, Carolyn Marsh has a good question. Sure. Does it have to be wearable clothes or just as long as it's on fabric? Preferably wearable. Preferably right? wearable. I kind of want to stick with the same theme. Um, where, focusing on wearable art. I'll tell you why. I'm being featured in Where Women Create or What Women Create based on a wearable art theme. And so since that's what I was working on, I thought it might be fun to see what you could come up with wearable art as well. Um, but if you're planning on doing like curtains or something like that, I would love to see it. Um, so I don't know, that's kind of a hard one because it sounds really cool to see it on something other than clothes. See you, Tasha. But I didn't want to make it too complicated. Bye, sweetheart. Okay, so um, Lee is throwing out some really big words. Lee Dixon. He's a pretty smart guy. I know he is. And I just hope I don't mess this up. He says, Dion, make hydrographic films to dip Yeti tumblers. I think I know what that is, but I'm not positive. I think so, too. Um, and you know what, buddy? I may have to. That so would people be cool. can decorate their Yetis with the fabric. Any, any way they choose, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. We're going to take this yellow. We're going to dibble dabble in here. Bum, 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 bum. Betty says maybe a beach cover up or a beach bag. Mm, yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. You could paint your. Um, gosh, so many things that we could paint. I just want to see what everybody comes up with. Like I said, I said jeans because I thought that would be a good place to start. Everybody has jeans. I didn't want anybody to have to buy something, but everybody kind of has a pair of jeans that they, you know, maybe no longer wear. Mm -hmm. But you haven't thrown away yet. Look right. at this. Look at this. The deadline, Carolyn, is November 9th. November 9th. Let's do one month, guys. One month. One month. It gives you time to go thrifting. Going through the old uh, attic to find no, your old nobody clothes. Nobody keeps clothes in their attic. Could you help me here, baby? Yeah. The phone just needs more. They're all tangled up here. It's really dark in here, too. I know, but it looks so good on camera. It does? Yeah. Sometimes less is more. What's Lance saying? What is Matt's, Lance saying? Matt's swim trunks. More Matt swimmers. Bub! 
Don't encourage him. Fantastic. You do Thank it. You. you do it, Mr. Howell. Sheesh. Patience has some extra jean jackets if anybody needs one. Of course she does. She's our she's our hookup. She's the lady with the plan. She's got she, she probably buys them just to buy them. Like she, well, hey. she buys them and then she's she looks cool when she wears them. Because she probably paints on them. She probably will win this challenge because she's patient. Okay. Crap. Matt swim trunks. So we can make a whole line of swim trunks. We could do we could do No, Lance said he would do it. Okay. Lance, get with me. We'll have a conference call. We'll talk about um speedos. No. Yes. No, trunks. He said trunks. Well, we'll do trunks too. Well, speedos, trunks. And then we'll do like cover ups. You're gonna do a cover up? Yeah. Like a man move, another man move? Yeah. You know how you know how it is you go to go to the, the pool. You know, women are just looking at you and it's embarrassing and so right. you have a male cover up. Right. Right? A male cover up. Yeah. So so would it just be like black and gray, old school? Is that what you're thinking? Because that's not going to win any contest. I'm thinking black, gray with a splash of blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. I said blue. This is so pretty. I can't wait to take a picture of this close up for you all. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, what? Okay. Ross says Lance needs to join the challenge. You think we could get him over here? He just said done. I saw his comment. He said done. So he's going to do the challenge. I think so. He's going to paint me some swim trunks. I think he should paint his swim trunks and you should paint yours. So it'd be like a, a trunk off. Is that, is that what you would call it? No, I would oh. never call it a trunk off. Okay. Never. Not in a million years. Sorry, Betty, but yeah, it really, we really would like for it to be DIY paint. Well, I mean, we're using that challenge, like that hashtag, so it feels like it should be. Would she ask? Uh, does it have to be DIY paint? Yeah, I want to know what colors you're using and stuff like that. Woo, I love it. Uh, Master Touch says, amazing, mind-blowing, amazing woman. Hey, friend, how are you? Thanks for all the love and support this week that you've been showing me. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Well, I will look forward to seeing your swim trunks. If that's what you've decided, I thought maybe you would rather paint on a pair of jeans or something. You think, you think, uh, should we call her the mom dork? The mom dork? Yeah. Shelly? Yes. Let's call her the mom dork. Let's call her the mom dork. You just want to call her a dork. Yeah, I mean, it's only fitting. Dad dork, mom dork, Mr. and Mrs. Dork. <laughs> Mr. I hope um, she's listening to you right now. Mr. and Mrs. Dork. She's going to call you something else. Oh, uh, there's no doubt she's screaming right now. No, she's names. not screaming. Maybe not screaming, but she gets pretty loud. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. She, I've, I've heard she's her. She's gonna put something in your food next. I time have she... heard her scream at her children, <laughs> and it scared me. It made me nervous. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna call you out. <clears throat> Lynn Hunt says you're such an amazing artist and inspiration. Thank you, dear. This is so fun. Magic Rose says it looks incredible, Dion. Thank you. We've got all around the dress. I'm going to take some pictures as soon as we're done here. Thanks for letting me hang out and do this tonight. And um, Are you happy right now? I'm so happy. This is so much fun for me. I love it when you're happy. <laughs> I do. It's so much better than the alternative. Aww. Like you get in here and you paint and it just really works out for you because sometimes it doesn't, right? It's okay. Right? 
Well, sometimes I have to paint because I have to. It's not like, it's not, it's like, well, it's that's not job. what I meant. I meant, what I meant was that sometimes you paint something and you just, you get off live, you, you keep at it because it's not where you want it to Oh, you be. mean off the live? Yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But like during the live, like when you really hit it off and you're gone, you're, you're in, you're in a good mood. Yeah. Somebody's not getting yelled at tonight and I like it. No, oh, come on, you big fat baby. I'm not yelling. Betty says she loves the rich colors. Thank you. I know these are your jam, aren't they? Remember when I was painting on the black dress, I remember Betty falling in love with the black. Uh, Master Touch says, I can't believe this is DIY paint on this dress. I didn't know you could use clay paint on this type of material. This is all I've used on my dresses. All the dresses have been. It's actually better, and I'll tell you why. It doesn't have a sealer in it. So because it doesn't have a sealer, it like embeds itself into the fabric. So it actually is more like a dye. That's why like Debbie's number one video is her painting her sofa teal and she's done other pieces since, but it is absolutely better to use the clay based because it's non it's, it, excuse me, it doesn't have a sealer and because it's so porous. So it just seeps into all of the fibers. Emerson says, hi, Carmen. Hi, Emerson. Mwah. That's another guy. Sorry, honey. You, are, you, are you giving kisses to other guys? Yeah, yeah. It's you a, do know I'm sitting right yes, here. Yes, right? but if you knew Emerson, you would also want to give him kisses. I'd be blowing kisses You too. would want to blow kisses to him, too. <laughs> Yes, he's precious. Lisa Dixon says, Dion, you made me want to get married again just so I could wear one of Lisa, dresses. let's do it. That let's have a, a double wedding. It's a huge compliment right there. It's yes, nice. let's have a double wedding. Um, I'm going to put a little Now, when we renew our vows, are you going to wear one of your dresses, yes. you think? Yes, I want to wear. You think one you've already done? or No, I'm going to do one, one just for me. Oh. Um, that nobody else has worn yet. I want to make myself a dress and we will renew our vows. And I'm going to paint your jacket. Uh, Patient Smith says, I think I have another shirt. Oh, you me. didn't hear me. I said, I'm going to paint your shirt, your jacket. Uh, that would be super cool. I have another shirt, skirt, shirt, no shirt. Uh, kind of like the one I sent you in the box. I might try to paint. Ooh. Rod says they'd be great for prom. They would be. Be so unique and different. Or homecoming. They'd be a good homecoming. Homecoming would be a good Hoko idea. Hoko dance, right? A hoko dance. That's what they call it, Matt. Betty wants you to paint me the man move so I can wear it in my, when we renew our vows. I don't want to do a man move. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, you ornery. Oh, that's funny. Lee Dixon says, Lisa, I did it once and that was enough. Lisa J. Jones says, LOL, Lee, party pooper, Lisa Dixon. Who said you were invited? Question mark. Nice. <laughs> nice. That sounds like us going at each other. I like it. Okay. Well, we've, we've done more than I planned on doing, to be honest with you. Carolyn Marsh says, I wanted to send you a portrait I did of you if you would PM me at, for an address. Oh, why don't, why don't you... Um, send me an email because I unfortunately don't always see my DMs. Send me an email. Dion D-I-O-N-N-E -N -N -E, at the turquoiseiris.com Send me an email and we'll get you an address. I might have a P.O. box that I just got. That's so nice. Thank you. Uh, Lee Dixon says, Matt, Dion is happy because she has a new assistant. <laughs> He's on fire tonight. Is he feeling pretty full of himself? I'm going to tell you what. Lee's coming for my job. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop there. And I am in floral heaven on this dress. So the train is actually about five feet. And I haven't decided what I want to do to it. I feel like if I keep adding to it, it's going to be just too much. So um, you're going to walk away for now, right? I'm going to walk away for now. It's going to be a little bit lighter in the morning. Um, more than anything, I can't wait to get Madison to put it on. And so I can watch it move and, um, we'll do a little photo shoot with her. But, um, what I'll do tomorrow is decide if I need to add some more details, kind of walk around it. Um, uh, but right now I'm thoroughly happy with it. 
Happy Buttons Creative says, hey, I finally found an actual lion. Yay, howdy, from OKC as well. Girl, I absolutely hey, love your work. Hey, 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 hey. So every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, I go live at 8.30. Now, occasionally I miss one here and there. I've gotten a little lax, especially over the summer, even though it's coming into fall. Um, but things with our live are changing a little bit. So Wednesdays, I just get tired sometimes. And then it's like, oh, but Friday, I'm tired. But if you put down 8.30 Central Time on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, you can often catch me. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's the end. But Happy Buttons Creative, you can watch the replay. The whole thing is always. She was just curious. Replay. She's just happy to be on the live. Yeah, yeah. See, see, we got a shout out in your name, right? And you can sign up for text messages because I send a, sent a message 10 minutes before I went on and I let everybody know I'll see you in 10 minutes. So, um, Betty Hiltz, thank you so much. I'm going to take a couple of pictures and I'll post them right here in the comments so you can see all the different flowers as we go around the dress. You guys have an awesome Monday. You hear me? You're, it's required. Have I don't mean to be pointy because my mom said that was rude, but have a great Monday. Jerry Gardner, mwah! there's another sugars. And Patty, you too, my friend. You guys, I'll talk to you soon. We'll be back on Wednesday. That is our plan. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, but start using that hashtag right now. DIY paint challenge. Paint your fabric and let's see what you're up to. Good night, everybody. See ya.